In this lesson, we're going to talk about a inexpensive way to protect your guitars during the winter season. So this can be one of the most detrimental things on your guitar, especially acoustic guitars, because of the humidity level inside your house during the winter when the furnace is running and you're getting all that hot air and it's really dry air. So um, a lot of things can happen to your guitar if it gets too dry. Um, things can crack, bridges can come off, um, neck gets out of whack, um, things start to buzz. It just, it's just not good for it. The ideal humidity level for guitars is between 40% and 60%. And um, one of the ways uh, that you can keep the level right, the easiest way, if you have a lot of guitars, um, you can just put them all in one room and get a little humidifier from the hardware store for 40 bucks and just try to let that run um, and get yourself a little gauge. I'm going to show you that in a second, a gauge that can, can read the humidity level so you can keep an eye on it. Um, or even better, if you can afford it, is uh, just get a whole house humidifier put on your furnace. And that will help not only your guitars, but it'll help you as well because it's just more comfortable on your skin. It's just more comfortable to live in. Because um, the humidity level can get down in the 20s. Um, the last time I checked mine, before I had the humidifier put on, it was at 21%, which is not good for the guitars. And it's not very comfortable either. So um, I have an inexpensive way uh, that you can keep, if you just have one or two guitars, that you can keep them humidified, keep them protected in your case. So let's take a look at inside the case. So your guitar's in the case. Here's the gauge that I was telling you about. You can get a gauge that reads its temperature and humidity level right there, if you can see that. Um, Right here, it's 35%. That's not bad, but I've had the case open and I'm not in a humidified environment. Um, these are 15, 20 bucks. You can find these online. Just look for something that reads humidity. Little, little gauge, it takes a little battery. And you can put that in the room if you got a humidifier running in the room or you can put it in the case with the guitar. Um, you can also buy, if you're just doing one guitar and you're, and you're just worried about the one guitar and you keep it in the case, you can buy these things that slide down in between the strings here uh, at any guitar store. And they're like 15 bucks, 20 bucks, and they have a little sponge in them. And the sponge, you get it wet and you stick it in the thing, you stick it down the strings. And that's basically what we're going to do here, but there's a really cheap way to do it with just stuff you got lying around the house. Um, so what you do you take a plastic Ziploc bag, small sandwich bag, and you punch a bunch of holes in it. I punched up a bunch of holes in this with a screwdriver or scissors, whatever. And then what you do, it's really easy, you take a wet paper towel, or you get a paper towel, and you wet it, and then you wring it out really good. You want to make sure it's not dripping. You just want it moist, so you wring it out really good. You stick it in the bag with the holes in it, and you seal it up. Okay, and then all you got to do is in your case, you know, I wouldn't necessarily suggest putting it down in the hole, although you could, but you really want to make sure there's no water running out of the bag. You want to make sure you really got it wrung out because you don't want to damage the wood and the guitar with water actually sitting on it. All you're looking for is enough moisture to come through these holes to keep the air inside your case humidified. So what I would do is fold it up and stick it. I'll slide this over a little bit. You want to stick it right down here. So it's not touching the guitar. It's just in the case under the neck there. And then that humidity will, will carry out throughout the case and hopefully keep um, your guitar at a reasonable level. I mean, if you can even get it to 30, if you see here on the gauge, it's already dropped to 29. So just from having it open. If you can keep it, even at 35 is going to be pretty good. 40, between 40, 60 is probably a little too high, but if you can get around 40, you'll be in good shape and you won't have to worry. One of the ways you can tell that your guitar is too dry is if you pick it up and you run your fingers along the neck like this. If you feel these frets sticking out like they're sharp, that means that your neck has 
gotten dry and contracted, leaving the metal frets kind of sticking out the side a little bit. And you'll feel that if you run your fingers down there. Um, they'll feel sharp. I mean, you can always feel them, but it'll feel more, um, it'll feel sharper. So that's one way you can tell. And I had a bad experience. I, I let some guitars get too dry and the whole bridge uh, just popped off on its own. So it's not good and then that costs you a lot more money to fix. So it's, it's really important, especially with acoustic guitars. It's not that as important with um, electric because of all the lacquer and stuff kind of keeps the, the wood protected. Although I'd still suggest it even with an electric. So there you have it. That is an inexpensive way to keep your guitars protected during the dry winter months.